For much more, let's bring Marty Biron into the conversation. Marty, the Stars await the winner of tonight's game between the Oilers and Canucks. It's time for you to list it. Which five players are facing the most pressure in Game 7? When I think of pressure, I think of positive pressure or negative pressure. And in Game 7, the pressure is who, if they don't play well, is going to be most responsible for their team's loss. So it's negative pressure. So when I start with number five, I'm looking at Arthur Shilov, right? I know he didn't start the year in the National Hockey League, and he wasn't supposed to be their starting goaltender in the playoffs for the Vancouver Canucks. But it's still a lot of pressure. you got to perform. If you don't, you're going to lose. So number five is Shilov. Number four, Connor McDavid. He's been great, but not the Connor McDavid level great that we know he can get to. And if Connor McDavid doesn't perform, there's going to be a lot of pressure and a lot of talk about, well, is this the end? Is this Connor McDavid? Can he get there? So a lot of pressure on Connor McDavid to perform in this game seven. Number three, Elias Lidholm. He was acquired at the deadline. He was supposed to make the Vancouver Canucks more offensively driven. Well, it's been nothing but offense for the Canucks, despite the fact that Lindholm has had a good series. I think he's got to continue performing for the Canucks to win. So three, it's Lindholm. Two, it's Elias Pettersson. Now, there's a ton of pressure in Pettersson. No Brock Besser. Somebody's going to have to pick up the slack and score and get points and get offense. Power play's got to work, and it all goes through number 40, Elias Pettersson. So he's number two. And number one is the other goalie, Stuart Skinner. He didn't play game four, didn't play game five. Had a nice game six. Wasn't tested a whole lot. So game seven could make or break what Skinner has been with the Edmonton Oilers. Last year in the playoffs, not so great. This year, eh, just average at best. So a lot of pressure on Stuart Skinner, especially if he only sees 15 to 20 shots. That's even more pressure on the goaltender. So there's my list of five with Stuart Skinner at number one. Okay, Marty, I absolutely love the list, but no Dreisaitl, no Miller, possibly the two best players in the series so far. Why did they make the cut? Well, because they don't have the pressure of saying if they don't play well, that's the reason why their teams is going to lose the series because they've been fantastic. JT Miller has been fantastic. And I think, look, it, it, it's a bonus, right? If he plays incredibly well and they win, it's a bonus. It's about everybody else with the Vancouver Canucks. Same thing with Dreisaitl. Nobody can look at Leon Dreisaitl and say, you have pressure because of you. The Edmonton Oilers may lose this series and may be done for this season. Dreisaitl has been fantastic. So I say Miller and Dreisaitl, probably the two key pieces for both teams, but they don't have the pressure like the other five. Oh, that's well said. Okay, what will be the deciding factor in tonight's game, Marty? And ultimately, who do you think advances to the Western Conference Final? Well, there's going to be a lot of factors, and they all point towards the Edmonton Oilers. So I'm going to pick the Oilers because five-on-five five scoring, it advantages the Oilers. Power play, the Oilers have been better. Penalty kill, the Oilers have been better. You know, Vancouver Canucks don't have Brock Besser. They don't have Thatcher Demko, two of what were supposed to be their key guys. So, But this is weird because usually when the arrow points one direction, I tend to think the other team is going to come through, especially in a Game 7 and win. But this time, the arrow is way too big. It's all pointing towards the Edmonton Oilers. I know they're going to be on the road in Vancouver, so maybe that's the one thing the Canucks will control the matchups. But I think the Oilers have all the key factors, five-on-five five power play, penalty kill. So it comes down to maybe goaltending at the end, but I still think the Oilers are going to win Game 7. Well, Marty, FanDuel agrees with you. Despite being on the road for Game 7, the Oilers are minus 156 favorites to advance. Thanks for this, Marty.